Worried that you're not getting the best performance you could be in your computer games? Welcome to Performance Anxiety, a series where I explain each graphics setting in computer games and how to make it work for you. In the first installment, we're going over what is arguably the most important option, resolution. Before getting into the video, I wanted to quickly thank every single person who has helped me get to this point. 10,000 subscribers. I never would have thought it possible even two months ago, but I'm in awe at how many of you like the content enough to subscribe. I've been very sick for a week, so I haven't been able to put any 10,000 sub special together or anything, but I'm working on coming up with something to reward all of you. Thank you all so much for subscribing, and let's get on to the video. As this is the first episode of a new series, I wanted to really quickly touch on how it'll work. The main purpose of this series is to give every viewer a decent understanding of how each setting affects both visuals and performance. This video in particular is purposefully a very basic foundation for people new to gaming on a computer. Future videos in this series will be more advanced and focus on more complex settings. Each video will cover what a setting is, why it's important, and how to configure it to make the most of your games. Lastly, since each video is isolated, I won't mention other settings that could have an effect on it unless one can't be explained without the other. For example, don't expect an explanation of FSR in this video as resolution can be explained without it. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'll be making one of these for each common setting in games, so you won't want to miss it. Now that we know how this series will work, let's get to it. Resolution, put simply, is a set of two numbers, standing for width and height in pixels. Each device or screen has a different native resolution, which is the maximum resolution that it supports. Putting aside aspect ratios and focusing on normal TV and monitor resolutions, here are the most common options. 1280 by 720 also known as 720p, 1920 by 1080 or 1080p, 2560 by 1440 also known as either 2K or 1440p, and 3840 by 2160 also known as 4K or 2160p. There are many other resolutions, especially when it comes to different aspect ratios, such as 1280 by 800 in the Steam Deck, but these are the most common that you'd see on a desk or TV stand. The most important thing to know is that you can calculate the total amount of pixels by multiplying the two numbers, same as the area for any square. For example, a 720p screen is 1280 pixels wide and 720 pixels tall, for a total of 921,600 pixels. A 4K screen is 3,840 pixels by 2,160 pixels, for a total of 8,294,400 pixels. Resolution is arguably the single most important factor when playing a game. That's why it's one of the largest selling points for any new console or remaster. In general, more pixels means more detail can fit on a given screen, and the better the image looks. However, more pixels also means that a game is much harder to run. You can use low settings on 4K, and it would still be more difficult to run than maximum settings on 720p, all other things being equal. Why is this? Well, remember how I said that a 4K screen has 8.3 million pixels? That's how many pixels need to be rendered for a single frame of 4K gameplay. Meanwhile, 720p is only 921,000 pixels per frame. That means that rendering a single frame of 4K gameplay requires 9 times as much work as the 720p frame of gameplay. The broader conversation of resolution, screen size, and pixel density is beyond the scope of this video, so let's move on to aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the ratio of horizontal pixels to vertical pixels, expressed as a fraction with a different syntax. That may sound a little, or a lot, confusing, so let's break it down. First, the ratio part. Let's take a resolution of 1920 by 1080. To find the aspect ratio, we just use the following formula. Width in pixels divided by height in pixels equals the aspect ratio as a decimal. In the case of 1080p, here's the result. 1920 divided by 1080 equals 1.7 continued. This number represents the number of horizontal pixels per vertical pixel. 
the next part of my statement was expressed as a fraction. Our result was 1.7 continued, and as a fraction, its equivalent is 16 over 9. The final part of my statement was with a different syntax. This step is super easy. You just replace the slash with a colon. In this case, 16 colon 9. You can read this as 16 by 9 or 16 to 9. So, after all that, we can say that a 1920 by 1080 resolution has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Why did I explain this? Because using resolutions in the same aspect ratio as your monitor is very important. Using a resolution with an aspect ratio that's not the same as your monitor will result in one of two things. The first possible problem is letterboxing, or black bars on the sides of your screen. How much you care about this is up to you, but you won't be using the entire screen and it can be very disruptive to gaming if it does bother you. The second possible outcome is stretching the image to fit the screen, and this one is a massive problem when it comes to fidelity. Your image can look worse than if you just used a lower resolution image in the correct aspect ratio. It can also result in blurry textures or even worse, unreadable text. Alright, now that we know why resolution and aspect ratios are important, we can move on to talking about how to actually set them. So, how do you choose a resolution then? I've prepared a flowchart to help. For this example, let's assume that we're using a 4K screen. First, start your game and go to the settings menu. Second, choose the native resolution, in our case 4K, and set the graphics in the game to low settings. Now, play the game and ask the following questions. Does the game run smoothly enough? Can you read all the text? Can you make out fine details? If the answer to all three of those is yes, then set the other options to whatever you'd like. Reminder that I'll have many follow-up videos for how to set those, but that's beyond the scope of this video. If the game doesn't perform well enough, then go back to the settings menu. Look at the resolution options. Let's assume the options for this game are these. Find the options that are in the same aspect ratio as your screen. For us at 4K, that means that we can use one of the following. 720p, 1080p, or 4K. Then, choose the next highest option that you haven't tried. In our case, that's 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. Now, go back to playing the game and ask the same questions as before. If the answer to all three is yes, then configure your settings. If not, go back and lower your resolution to the next option down again. If you get through all of your resolution options and you can't play the game to your satisfaction, then you likely need a computer upgrade. Alright everyone, that's all for the first entry in the new Performance Anxiety series. Let me know if you liked the video, if it helped you out, or if you have any ideas for the series. Sorry for the new type of content, I wanted to put something out this week while I work on next week's big video, a deep dive of The Witcher 3's next-gen update on Steam Deck. Thank you to my patrons for letting me explain settings so other people can set those settings appropriately. Verge4469, Mitch, a zero fail, Frankie Rogers, Pronesis, Lemon, Brian D, Yi Luo, Pai K, Madam Slug, Spiffman, Bradley C, The Duck, Jean Chris, Jimmy Champagne, Christopher Comer, Keenan Brody, Mario Diaz, Chase Melancon, DevOps D Adams, Larry, Nathan Wilkie, Rafaniak ZX, Aiden, Montana CB7, and Shane Duncan. Thank you to my YouTube members, Eugene Brednev, VV, Prashid Shah, and Papa Juicy. And lastly, a massive thank you to Kiko J. Palayo and Luigi for the supers. You guys are absolute legends. Thank you for watching and have a great day.